So I don't think that any of our consumers, I mean, our customers, our members, our vendors um, uh, are yet satisfied about reimbursement. We have a ways to go. But what we are also seeing is that the health plans, instead of being uh, resisting to this new thing, instead of them being uh, concerned that all this will do is be duplicative and add costs, mm -hmm. instead of them being concerned that this would be an ungoverned activity uh, that would hold them liable for costs uh, for services that did not actually produce value, um, that now has changed. And I think that what you're seeing, in fact, is many of the insurance companies are uh, taking a lead uh, role in pushing and advancing uh, 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 telehealth capabilities or bundling telehealth capabilities inside of their product offerings uh, as they respond to a new uh, delivery system, a more modern delivery system. So I think that this is a new era. What should we be concerned about, though, uh, comes back again to the fundamental blocking and tackling. Um, and that continues to be, we have to demonstrate that what we do uh, can decrease emergency room visits, that it can decrease hospitalizations, that it can limit lengths of stay, that it can turn the spigot off on preventable hospital readmissions, that we can um, move care from higher cost settings into lower cost settings and ultimately into the home um, and be able to show uh, that not only can you do that, but that also you can have some confidence in being able to judge whether those services that were delivered were appropriate uh, at the highest level of, of, of clinical quality delivery and so forth. And, and I think that what, what's exciting then ultimately about your question is that both of these pathways have a wonderful synergy and that at the end of the day, uh, I think that most reimbursers re, uh, and insurance company reimbursement people understand that as they push forward to have value-based reimbursement for the delivery system, and as the delivery system is under pressure, but also rewarded for being able to produce the kinds of d decreases in, 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 in preventable use and expenses, as that happens, everything's aligned. And so there is a real reason why home uh, monitoring and, and wearable technologies, and there's a real reason why when you can identify a patient early, um, before they become really sick, and get them in the tipping point, and engage them in the way that the consumer wants it with consumer friendly tools. There's a reason why the, the people that are reimbursing care now get that all of the things that they want to have happen, if we do our jobs properly on the telehealth side, are absolutely aligned with what they want. We're, we're in common cause. And, the, and we're also aligned with the physicians who are getting value-based reimbursement. So you sort of put all that together, then you add the last piece, and I know this is a complicated answer, but, no, but all of these things are aligned, and, and, and this is why I'm excited, is the last piece is that you need to have patient, uh, 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 patients are on the hook for new value-based health benefits. So their financial uh, skin in the game mm -hmm. around appropriate behavior, identifying problems early, changing their behavior. So the M-Health tools that we have are very much aligned. So at the end of the day, the, 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 the insurance company reimbursement in incentives are aligned with the delivery system, hospital and physician reincentives are aligned with the patient uh, incentives all around value-based reimbursement. And we have the tools and we have the services and we have the capabilities that will help all three of them do that. We're sitting right in the middle of that sweet spot. It's pretty exciting.